This is Twit. You know, it was just a prototype at CES back in 2013. That was ages ago, but now Samsung has officially announced its curved OLED phone. It's the Galaxy Note Edge. The screen is unique in that on the right-hand side, it sort of slopes downward and wraps around. Other specs include a soft touch back, 16 megapixel camera, a heart rate monitor, a quad HD display, that's 2560 by 1440, even a 3.7 megapixel front-facing camera for all those low light selfies you want to take. The Note Edge is coming to AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint in the U.S. later this year. No official date or price point just yet. But if asymmetrically curved displays aren't really your thing, Samsung also announced the Galaxy Note 4, which is the 5.3-inch phablet, if you want to call it that, that comes with a stylus and otherwise has pretty much the same specs as that Note Edge. Couple versions. The Korean version will feature an octa-core Exynos 5433 chipset, which is a combo 1.9 gigahertz quad-core processor for heavier activities, and then a 1.3 gigahertz quad-core for littler stuff. In other markets, the Note 4 will have a 2.7 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 805 processor with a 600 megahertz Adreno 420 GPU. Yes. Both versions get three gigabytes of RAM, either 32 or 64 gigabytes of internal memory, and an option to add up to 64 gigabytes on a micro SD card. No word on pricing for this either, but the note will be available in October in white, black, gold, and pink. Oh, but that's not all. Samsung's also getting into the virtual reality space, a very hot space. The company announced the Gear VR at IFA 2014. Today, it's happening in Berlin, Germany. This is a headset with a removable front cover that the Samsung Note 4 slips into and then acts as the screen. So you've got adjustable lenses built into the headset, and now the Gear VR turns that note into a virtual reality experience. Now, Samsung is handling the hardware, but Oculus has actually partnered with the company on the software side. Samsung's also promising a consumer product this year with Gear VR. That's ahead of competitors like Sony and Google and even Oculus itself. There's no price just yet, but the company says it'll be available for purchase online and through select carriers. Okay, let's just go ahead and stick with the hardware theme for a few more minutes. Sony has just unveiled the Xperia Z3 Android device, basically the successor to the Z2 and not all that different. 5.2 inch, 1080p display, a 20.7 megapixel camera, waterproofing, but with a more rounded aluminum frame. Sony also threw in a wide angle 25 millimeter lens, extra high ISO, 12,800 light sensitivity. The Z3 adds Sony's audio upscaling technology, which improves the quality of compressed music and some digital noise canceling technology thrown in there too. Expect the Z3 this fall on T-Mobile and possible other carrier announcements to come. Oh, you know, who cares about phones anymore? Anyway, Sony also showed off two new wearables at IFA, the Smart Band Talk and the Smart Watch 3, the latter of which uses Google's Android Wear software rather than Sony's own watch software, which it was rumored to do. The SmartWatch 3 comes with a 1.6-inch 320 by 320 transflective display, GPS, and even a life logger app. It'll run you around $300. Meanwhile, Sony's Smart Band Talk comes with a curved 1.4 inch, 288 by 128 pixel e ink display for things like email notifications, plus a microphone and speaker for voice commands. It can also be used to handle calls over Bluetooth. The Smart Band Talk comes with an accelerometer and an altimeter and will cost around $210. In the wake of the celebrity photo leak over the weekend, 4chan, which is a site where many of these photos were posted and viewed, has just introduced an official DMCA policy. The policy registers a DMCA agent for 4chan, which helps to afford the site safe harbor protection under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. It's not yet listed in the numerical section of copyright.gov, but once it is... The designated agent becomes the point of contact for copyright complaints and DMCA notices when content owners believe that their ownership rights have been violated on 4chan. Sources tell CNBC that electric automaker Tesla will build its 5 billion lithium ion battery plant, also known as the Gigafactory, in... Nevada. Nevada Governor Brian Sandoval will hold a news conference on Thursday in Carson City, Nevada to make a, quote, major economic development announcement. This is according to a media advisory from the state. 
A Tesla spokesperson confirmed that Tesla officials would be at that event, but declined to give any more details. Back in July, the automaker had announced that it had partnered with Jap Japanese electronics firm Panasonic to build the 35 gigawatt cell factory and also said that it would announce additional partnerships in the coming months.